Hey viewers, last Saturday I went to an auction and had a total blast. It's been years since I've been to a live auction. They had 40 or 50 bikes there and I went there with a the goal to buy some bikes that I could use to make some videos. Uh, now some of the bikes were easily dismissed. They had a lot of kids bikes and I wasn't interested in those. They also had some like older lower end mountain bikes. I was not interested in those. Now some bikes that were really cool logistically I could not bring home like there were a couple adult sized tri uh, tricycles there just too big I couldn't get them home I had nowhere to store them also a couple uh, really nice tandem bikes again very difficult uh, for me to try to transport home because I'm driving a Honda Civic I had uh, about five bikes that I kind of decided uh, that I was interested in and I won four of those bikes now the first bike that I won was this Trek. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what model. I think it might be a 1500. Um, it's uh, got like Ultrago rear derailleur. It's got a Tiagra front derailleur and it's got 105 shifters. Kind of a weird mishmash of parts. So I'm guessing some stuff was uh, swapped out there. I got this for $150. Um, I didn't really have any video in mind for this, but it's possible something might come up. I don't know when I'm going through it and clean it up. Now the next bike I bought was the one that I most wanted, it was this Cannondale F600. Uh, it's a little bit rough shape, the seat here is a little bit torn up, it's got a dent in the seat stay there but doesn't look like it compromises the frame. One thing about it is the head shock on here is dead. So I'm hoping that I can take this apart, clean it, lube it and overhaul it and maybe replace some parts in there and get that working get it and get a video out of that. It also has disc brakes front and back. For some reason, it's got a Shimano caliper on the front and a uh, Avid BB5 uh, caliper on the back. So I'm hoping to get, do something with those and maybe get a video out of those. Now I paid $250, which I think is overpaying, especially considering that the had a dead head shock. I don't know if most people realize that it had that, but if I can get a couple of videos out of it, I'll be happy. Now this next bike that I bought uh, is this Specialized Hard Rock. Now the reason I bought this one is it's got a RockShox Jet uh, fork on there. I've done videos on a Jet C and a Jet XC, but not just a, a plain Jet fork. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, overhaul it, and uh, hopefully get a video out of that. And I, I paid $100 for this, and so I, I'm pretty sure I could go ahead and get it cleaned up and sell it for more than what I paid for it, and maybe make a few bucks in the process. Now the last bike that I bought was this Diamondback Access TR. I tend to veer away from Diamondback bikes because they're not real high end, but this had a, uh, a Manitou 3 uh, fork on there. Very cool, all machined aluminum on there, and the fork on here is dead. So um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this apart and overhaul it and get, hopefully get a video out of that. Um, from what I've read, it, the elastomers in there go bad. So I've ordered a set of new elastomers, so hopefully all, that's all it takes is take it apart and replace the elastomers, get it all lubed up and get that working again. I paid $90 for this uh, with the cost of the elastomers and all this stuff in there. I'm, it's probably gonna cost me more than uh, what I'll be able to sell the bike for, but I'm okay as long as I can get a video. Uh, maybe I'll find something else to, to make a video on, out of, on, on this bike too. So these are the four bikes that I bought. In addition, there had been a fifth bike I'd been interested in, uh, a Diamondback response that had disc brakes front and back, uh, but it had a Suntour XCT V4 fork. I have not done a video on that particular flavor of fork yet, and so I was hoping to do that. But it got bid up to $250. I was not gonna bid up higher than that at that point, so it just wasn't worth it to me, so I let that bike go. So now, in addition to the winning bid prices on these bikes, I also had to pay a 10% buyer's premium and also state and local sales tax. So they were a little bit more expensive than those prices I mentioned earlier. Not a problem. I'm not in the, the business of flipping bikes. I don't make money buying and selling bikes. I make videos. And so I bought these in mind to make videos. So hopefully I get some cool videos out of them. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me go down in the comments. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a ton of stuff over there. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching.